Big Z Reviews. Midsummer is a new atmospheric art house horror film from Ari After and A24. And having watched this, I gotta say, man, does A24 have some balls to release this on July 4th weekend. This is a crazy movie that <laughs> I will think I will say that A24 are kind of trolls because they they sold this film as more of a horror film and almost not. It's 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 the, it's an amazing film, but A24 I I give all my credit to you. You're you will put a crazy movie in a bunch of screens and try to get people to go to it and pff, more power to you. I was so very sorry to hear about what happened. I'm sorry. I invited Danny to come to Sweden. You know what she's been going through? Christian says you've got this special week planned. It's sort of a crazy festival. Special ceremonies and dressing up. That sounds fun. So this mainly stars uh, Florence Pugh as uh, Danny. And then Jack Rayner as Christian, her boyfriend. And then you have her boyfriend's friends, uh, William Jackson Harper, uh, Wilhelm Blomgren, and Will Poitier. And uh, they, essentially, this they're all grad students. And in the beginning, Florence Pugh has a horrible um, tragedy in her family when her sister murders her parents and kills herself. And uh, I would say right from the very first images, like Ari Aster, he is an artist. I haven't watched a film and felt like I was watching a piece of art as much as this since Hereditary. Like he is so specific and so exacting and so precise with his shot selection and what he wants to do is just amazing. And it's interesting, looking back, like in these early scenes, before they've gotten to, you know, the Nor Norway or wherever it is, Sweden or whatever, they, um, there are things, like there's art on the walls. Like I noticed that while I was watching, I was like, yeah, it's really beautiful and different, interesting art. But then later, I was, I was, after the movie was over, I was, I was thinking back to those, some of the art pieces of art on the wall, and I was like, is that kind of... Uh, foreshadowing parts of the movie and it feels like there's like hitting things and hitting meanings throughout the film and it's aim right from the beginning like you see these the way they do these shots they're like a, it's a long shot you have it like the camera is completely stationary on the one group and then someone else walks into the room and like talks to them and instead of like doing a one shot two shot one shot two shot like when they go back and forth to the in the conversation for the most part, they'll show the person in the mirror behind the group, and you'll see them come in, and you'll see, they'll see them talking, and like t you can see you can see them through the mirror, and it's just such an interesting use. And I think it's, there's a lot. I mean, I think there's a lot of undertones with things too, like with uses of mirrors and about grief and about um, you know uh, medication for uh, for psychological problems and hallucinogens. And you know, be having you know, leaning on people in the in the in the, in the relationship, and like it, there's so much here that's almost tough to dissect. Like, I mean, you have to watch it multiple times, I think, to really get a firm grasp on everything that's within within this movie. But then I will say though, it is not for the common moviegoer crowd. I think because I saw it with my brother on the Fourth of July night. We went to a picnic and it's hot as balls, so we decided to go afterwards to go uh, see a movie and some air conditioning. And they there was a group of like late teen or or I don't know like a bunch of like young people. I don't know if they had to be they had to be at least uh, eighteen because the movie was R hard R. But I will say this, I remember it's on Twitter, they put something about how they were celebrating that they were actually able to get an R rating. And I'm actually almost surprised that they were able to get an R rating. But this couldn't easily have been an NC-17 movie. Like, because, I won't spoil it, but there's a lot of nudity toward, uh, at a certain point, And there's a lot of brutal violence. And 
if it, it'd be tough to get an R. I mean, they had to fight for it, I'm sure. But like they, this group, when I first went to the movie, they were just laughing, and then like they kind of quiet throughout the rest of the film. It's like, huh? And then when they're leaving, they're like, oh, this movie sucked. What the hell? Wasn't even scary. And then one, one, some of the girls is like, oh, were any jump scares? Why were any jump? I mean, I love jump scares. It's like so. They were expecting they should, something else. I think they should have gone to Annabelle Comes Home instead of Midsummer. But my brother and I just loved it. And because, I mean, it is... like I mean, what is this movie about? I see it's about grief? Or it's about finding a new home, finding a new family after... If yours is... has gone or... And it's, it's about so much here. And what it actually shows on the film... It essentially, you know, it's like a cult movie where the cult is killing everyone and trying to take in new people and and a lot of shenanigans. But it's interesting. It, it we almost call it, we call it like a a fantasy horror film or what? I mean, it's like it's and it's interesting because like at a certain point, it almost it it feels like if they wanted to edit it differently, they could have made a slasher film out of this. Because at a certain point, it feels like a slasher where where friends are disappearing one by one. and But the weird, crazy thing is that the audience notices it, but the people in the film don't notice it. Or, like, they're told, oh, they did this. And, like, they don't, okay, that sounds, that makes sense. And it's such an interesting way to do it. And when they do what they, what they do with brutal scenes, and some may be disgusting, but brutal, like, the you know, the props that they use are amazing. And I love that this, this, they go to this midsummer festival in the middle of nowhere in like Sweden. They're one of the Nordic countries and there's this cult there and they, this, this midsummer celebration and that they, they had to have built everything there. Like it's so, the art, like they had to build everything, every little thing that they drew on, they drew all these sorts of, figures and drawings and weird drawings and stuff and runes and and i mean the the artistry that had to go in this movie is just kind of breathtaking when you think about it and that's for the movie itself it can be a tad on the slow side like and you, you kind of i almost the the thing inside of me that loves you know a more action type movie or more horror type movie like, I kind of wanted one of them to go crazy and start trying to kill all the cultists. But, you know, that's not this kind of film. This film is about something very different. And what it does is amazing. And Florence Pugh, she is excellent in this. I really loved her in this film. And it, it's, it, it's a crazy, interesting movie. But it's definitely it's, it's one that would be difficult to recommend to a lot of people. Because it's a lot here that is not an easy watch. I mean, it is gory, it is brutal, it is, it is dark, it is, it's a lot here, but it's weird. It's, it's beautifully weird, but it is weird. And still, I, it's, every time, though, the shots are just so gorgeous and so perfect. And it's just, I, I love everything it did with it. Like, but it's it's still it's an odd film, you know. It's it's a tough film to kind of review, but I mean, I would recommend it to indie horror films, you know, some looking for something different. Like, definitely, you know, support this film in the theater. Support the crazy A twenty four studio that let Ari Aster put this sort of film together and throw it on thousands of screens in the middle of summer. I mean, hell. <sighs> <laughs> go for it. I don't care. You know, A twenty four. Geez, I'll give you. I'll keep giving you money if you keep giving me stuff like this. I, I give it like a, a nine out of ten. I think. But thanks for watching. You should have the replay on my head. If guys, mean a Z over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z movie review. Thanks for watching.